Okay guys, it's Devin GFX here, and I'm in a Skype call with Ace. Say hi, Ace. I want you to say hi. <laughs> Alright, so um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on basic editing. So, a few, this is going to be a tutorial basically on how to sync and add a few effects. I'm not going to do effects, I'm going to do stuff like CC and black bars. So, okay, so first, I'm going to teach you how to sync. So, a quick, easy way to sync trick shots. Uh, they're much easier to sync, by the way. So, just know that. Just press LL on your keyboard, and you're going to find where the shot is. I already know the shot is right here because it gets really low. Then the audio bumps get really high. Press LL to see your waveform. So, right there, you can see where he shoots. Go to the next frame. Yeah, that looks about good. So, I'm going to press the star key on the uh, number pad to set a marker. I'm going to collapse that. Then I'm going to find the drop in this song. I'm going to push this over because I know where the drop is. Then, drop is basically, these are the bumps. When the bumps are really big, that means, uh, when the bumps are big, that's when the song is really loud. When they're low, that means it's low, obviously. So, uh, I'm going to find where it gets really quiet, and then it just pops up. Uh, let's see. Right there. I know it's right there. So, I'm going to set a marker on the song. And then I'm just going to line these two up. It's, it says, easy as that. Isn't it? I think it is. You just line those two up. See that? Now, make sure that's sunk. Just do a quick RAM preview. Might take a little while because you know my computer's slow. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Okay, it didn't. Uh, okay, now I can RAM preview that, make sure that's sunk. Yeah, that's sunk. Now, what you could do if you don't want background noise is you're gonna. You can take off the sound with that, and you're going to go to import, and import file, and I'm going to just go to some gun sounds. Okay, Ace, that was very abrupt. Okay, alright, now I got my intervention sound, and I'm going to sync that up. Just press the, the bracket next to the P button on the right of it. Uh, preview that again, and let's see how it sounds. Alright, that sounds good. Now, I know a lot of people probably know this effect. It's, uh, it's, where it's that, like, swoosh effect. So, we're going to duplicate this by pressing Control D. Then, we're going to go to Time and go to Time uh, Reverse Layer. And then, we're going to press uh, uh, end bracket. It's right next to the other bracket and see how that sounds. Let's see. See, it gives that sort of swoosh and it sounds good. So now, what I like to do for black bars is I make my own black bars by uh, making a shape layer and taking off the stroke. So, I just make a case. Okay, so Anyways, I'll line that up, and there you go, black bars. Then, after you put the black bars, you go to C, you make an adjustment layer, name it CC if you want, you go to Magic Bullet Looks, and if you don't have looks, hold on, let me show you. If you don't have looks, you could always go to Effects, Color Correction, and uh, go to Curves, bring one curve up, bring one curve down. It gives it a nice effect, and you can go to uh, color correction again, and go to gamma, pedestrian, and gain. And what I like to do is I like to bring up the the blue gamma, so I like that sort of blue color, and that that looks good. But in this case, I have magic bullet looks, so if you're not poor, get magic bullet looks. Just kidding. <clears throat> so, this loads up. Let's see where we're at. Alright, we're only at four minutes. 
five minutes. All right. So I got a bunch of color corrections. So I'm gonna grab just any random color correction. So I got my color correction now. See, simple as that. And there you go. OC number one. And then you can upload that and get known. See, that's a simple OCE. Now, I already got the Twixter going on on the side. So if you want to add Twixter, I'm going to teach you how to do Twixter real quick. So go to your your uh, clip layer. Let me name that clip. And we're going to put Twixter on it. So we're going to go to the... Now what we have to do is right-click it. Click Time. Enable Timer Mapping. Go to the beginning of the clip. Press Speed. Key from the speed right here. Should be right there. Have it at 100. Then go to right where about you shoot. Keep from it down to probably like 99, so it doesn't change much. Then go a couple frames where you want it to want the Twixter at. And this one doesn't really look good with Twixter, but I'm teaching you how to do it anyways. So go a couple frames forward and put the keyframe uh, uh keyframe it down to one. And we can watch how that looks. Uh, let's see how that looks. You could also change the motion sensitivity because I know sometimes it looks really like wavy and bubbly and it doesn't look right. And I know I like to change the motion sensitivity right here. So, or you can just split your clip. Alright, so I'm back. So I'm back. Alright, sorry about that. Alright, so we got the Twixter going on. See how it gets really smooth right there? This gets really slow and smooth after it's sunk. See, so yeah, that looks good. So, now what you could do, you know, you got your cinematics and stuff. Let me change the motion sensitivity down to like, I like to change it to like 40 or something. You can, you can play around with it. I don't know. You can add your effects if you want. I have some animation presets. And you got your, you can like, let's see. You can do CC. I know some, some of my favorite effects are. Vector blur, radio blur, uh, stuff like that. And then you got your transitions if you want to put your intro in there. So I just, I would throw my intro in there. But that, yeah, that's basically it, guys. So, yeah, it's basic editing tutorial. Uh, I'll probably do another tutorial on uh, a different clip or a different tutorial, whatever you guys want. So, you know, comment on what you guys want to see. And a say bye. Okay.